Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Tuesday, October 8th, 2019, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From Bleeping Computer, Primary Health Organization 2 Aura Compass Health in New Zealand disclosed a security breach that led to the exposure of medical and personally identifiable information of roughly 1 million people. In early August, their website was defaced, which led them to dig into the affected servers. They found evidence of four breaches by different actors dating back to 2016. From ThreatPost, millions of iOS users could be vulnerable to man-in-the-middle attacks that trace back to flawed Twitter code used in popular iPhone apps. The old TwitterKit library although replaced by Twitter, is still used by thousands of apps using the login with Twitter function. Now, let's talk about encryption in three parts. First, from ZDNet, a user got his revenge on the ransomware gang Mushtick, who encrypted his files, by hacking their server and releasing 2,858 decryption keys and a decryptor that all other Mushtick victims could use to unlock their files. Part 2 from Bleeping Computer. The developer behind the Hildecrypt ransomware has decided to release the ransomware's private decryption keys. The developer said the ransomware was made for fun and released the keys in case someone got a hold of it and used it. And Part 3 from SC Magazine. DCH Health System in Alabama that had virtually been shut down by ransomware on October 1st has paid the attacker and started to unlock its files. No word on how much they paid, but it was confirmed that the ransomware in play is Ryuk. And last today from Technedu, Britain's National Cybersecurity Center has discovered security bugs in a series of VPNs that are being exploited in the wild. Vendors affected, whose products you should update immediately, are Pulse Secure, Palo Alto, and Fortinet. As always, details and links in the article. That's all for me today. Have a great rest of your day, and until tomorrow, be safe out there.